The first thing that I do is start off with a sketch. I'll just keep it plain and simple. After the sketch is done, I'm going to add in a new layer. This layer will be an 8-bit layer, which is a grayscale. This will cause any color that you apply onto the canvas, gray, black, or white. But before you start doing what I'm doing right now, just note that you can't really merge the layers together when it's an 8-bit layer. So I would recommend you just to keep it as a color layer so that you can merge it together and not have too many layers. Too many layers can cause the Medibank to crash and freeze. First, lower the opacity of the sketch layer and then on layer 3, I'm just going to focus mainly on adding details and cleaning up his face. I applied the base color onto the whole face using the pen brush. After that, I switched to the airbrush and start applying shadows onto his face. For detailing, I switched back and forth between watercolor and airbrush to clean and add details. This part is speed up because I took too long to detail and I was actually debating on whether to show this part or not but I feel like many of you guys would like to see the progress so I decided to just keep it. Moving on to his hair, I added a new layer just specifically for the hair. This just makes it easier for me to clean because the hair is separated from the face. And so if I were to erase some parts of the hair, it doesn't, it doesn't erase the face as well. I did the same thing to his sweater and the background. Also, as you can see that the background is the last layer because it's behind everything and then after that it's the skin because it's behind the sweater and so on. So as you can see here, I'm converting all this gray grayscale layer to color layer so that I can merge it together. That's why at the beginning of the video, I recommend you to just keep the normal layer which is the color layer and just switch back and forth between black, gray, and white instead. I'm going to add in a new layer to start with the background. Before I start applying the colors, I set the planning to multiply. And then you just want to neatly apply that around the figure. As for the skin, I did the same thing. I added a new layer except I put the blending to soft light.
The next thing that I did was add in a new layer, set the blending to multiply. This will also be parts of the skin. I switched to the airbrush and start applying shadows onto the left side of his face. Don't worry if it goes outside because you'll be able to clean it up later. For his sweater, I added a new layer, set the blending to multiply again. As for the hair, since I'm keeping it white, I'm just going to use layer 8 to apply the shadows with the airbrush onto the left side. I switched to the watercolor brush to darken and add details. I zoomed out to see how the overall picture looks like from afar and determined where I should darken or add more shadows. In this case, I redefined his face until I feel that it's good enough. For minor details, I add in a new layer, set the blending to overlay. Overlay just makes the colors pop out and brighter. Using the watercolor brush, I'm going to apply it onto the right side of his hair. And then create small little strands outside. I also applied a lighter color onto the right side of the face because that's where the light is coming from. As for the light behind him, I added a new layer above layer 6. Set the blending to add. The add blending mode is like similar to the overlay mode but it's just more brighter because there's already a blue background behind layer 11 I used the eraser tool to reshape the light effect behind the figure here I'm just adding and fixing the silhouette of the window Alright, that's about it for this video. I hope that this video was at least helpful and until next time, thank you so much for watching.